The way this classroom is different to what we've done in the past is that never in the classroom is the tutor or myself standing on the whiteboard doing a solution and the students copying it down. So we've shifted away from that to where the students are actively doing the solutions and problem solving themselves and that way we're finding that there's greater attendance from the students there's more active engagement with the learning and they're asking the questions, getting support from the staff in the classroom. All my friends get um, to the class at, even though it's at 8am in the morning, we're all here and we're eager to learn and it makes something that is quite um, rigorous actually quite enjoyable. Uh, these units are definitely more hands-on and it's a good way of doing things, I think. So the shift came primarily from thinking that the tutorials are not working and the attendance is not working, but the students are needing more support. So we provided that by scheduling smaller class sizes for the workshops. And the impetus really came from a drive that I had to embed English language into the curriculum. So having some information about the flipped classroom model and what was being done internationally with these interactive, student-engaged learning environments plus information about embedding English language into the curriculum, which needs to have not a lecture delivery, but a student-centred, engaged learning environment. That motivated me to shift from our traditional tutorial, which wasn't really meeting expectations of myself or the students, to this style. I've, yeah, I've definitely improved uh, from my first year units um, to these units because like I can understand what I'm doing, I can confirm whether I'm doing the right thing or not. Like most of the time, if I'm in a unit that I don't have this opportunity to discuss with tutors in, I'm just like taking notes off the computer and or the lecture, and then if I've got it right, it's a bonus. If I don't, then I don't know until I get my exam back, so. I've just been away. I'm part of the elite athlete program at Curtin University for a week, and just in this class today, um, without having watching the lectures, I was able to um, pick up the new content um, within a matter of two hours. Generally there is pre-preparation before the workshops and that can be something like a short video introducing the material if we haven't had the lecture beforehand or to supplement the lecture and that way they're up to speed with the material and starting straight into the practice problems and problem solving. Some weeks there's a discussion or a pre-reading that needs to be done before the workshop Yes, every question um, we're all working together and um, that uh, has proven to actually be um, quite fun at times because um, sometimes you're right, sometimes you're wrong and if you didn't have people with you um, working on the question then you could keep doing the wrong thing without knowing. We still have a two hour lecture per week and a one hour seminar per week. The one hour seminar is flexible delivery depending on the team teaching person involved. For me, I treat that as like a whole class tutorial where I'm working through a solution and the two hour lecture is more a delivery of material. And that's shifted quite considerably. We used to have six hours of lecture but they were not a traditional lecture of the lecturer standing and delivering material. It was treated like a whole class tutorial. But that's very challenging in a class of 180 or 200 students. Whereas now we're restricting the lectures to be more content focused, or the theory, the background, the application, and then these workshops to be a more individual support mechanism where the students are doing practice problems and problem solving in the class.